Let's have an honest conversation. It's been all over the news and social media. You've heard the hefty price tag. Are the Apple Vision Pros all hype? Or are they actually worth the $3,500? Because let's be real, that's at least one to two months rent here in New York City. So in this video, I wanna answer three specific questions for you. What is it like? Who is it for? And ultimately, is it worth it? Now that I've had the Apple Vision Pro for about a month, I can definitely say there are things that it does very well and things that need a lot of work. So we'll start off on a more positive note and I can share with you what I think are its biggest strengths. First off, multitasking and productivity. One of the first things I did when testing out the functionality Apple Vision Pro was basically turn my studio into a virtual office. I was able to stick different windows and apps all around my New York studio. For example, I was able to have an entertainment set up on one wall, then a multi-screen workstation where my desk was, and then finally have a section in my room for more personal apps like messages, notes, and photos, almost like an extension of my iPhone. And honestly, the idea of having multiple screens up in an open space is wild to me. I remember one of the craziest things that made me feel like I was in a sci-fi movie for real was I was eating lunch one day and I was having a call with Mama Banks on the right side, scrolling through music on my left, and then I was looking up for a new cabinet on Safari in front of me. Talk about multitasking on steroids. This functionality also works really well when it comes to being productive and getting things done. I was actually able to create an entire script and storyboard for my last video, all within the Apple Vision Pro ecosystem, being able to grab links and photos from one window and then pasting it into my Notion workspace or my freeform board. It was just seamless and actually made content creation more engaging and fun. Now where the Apple Vision Pro actually succeeds the most in is consuming media content. Watching movies and TV shows in this thing is absolutely insane. You can basically have a movie theater size screen throughout your entire house. And if you wanna make it even more immersive, you can actually use the atmosphere function and block out everything by just scrolling the wheel dial and then you get transported to a preset environment such as Yosemite National Park, Joshua Tree. Again, you could do this anywhere, whether it's your living room, your bedroom, bathroom, even being able to view your personal photos and videos on like a larger display and a gallery view is a really cool experience. And another cool feature that not many people talk about is the, actually the ability to take what Apple calls spatial videos and photos, which basically allows you to capture 3D moments that you can actually revisit at a later date. It really does make you feel like you are there in that moment again. I can see this being super useful for people who wanna relive special moments with their friends and loved ones. But let's be real, all that is cool and all, but the Apple Vision Pro is definitely far from perfect. There are a few bugs and gimmicky features in here that just really stuck out to me. First thing, this is not the best for video calls and FaceTime communication. I remember when it first came out, everybody just kept posting about the personas features where you can basically scan your face with the Apple Vision Pro and it'll create a digital persona of yourself. However, you can definitely tell it is still in beta, even though I thought it was a pretty cool feature because it would show you all of your facial expressions and even capture your hand movements. However, every person I tried to call was shocked by what they saw and they they said it looked very strange because I was either like cross-eyed or my face was distorted in fact let me know in the comments below what do you think about my persona does it look like me is it realistic I also don't think the Apple Vision Pro is meant for environments outside the home. Now, there are a ton of videos out there showing people using the Apple Vision Pro in the streets, whether on the subway or even playing basketball. I mean, I wouldn't do that personally, but that's just me. At this time, I think it's just too heavy and bulky to be walking around, especially in New York City. You're gonna always have to be carrying this awkward battery pack around with you everywhere. For me, the only place I'd really see myself using this outside of the comfort of my home would be for maybe extended trips like a two to three hour plane or bus ride. And you know, I couldn't make a video without mentioning something health and wellness related. This Apple Vision Pro is definitely not meant for fitness, like at all. I tried doing this thing where I would have a few windows open during a 20 minute Peloton ride and literally had to take it off after five minutes because there was just too much going on and my head started feeling a little bit more exhausted than my legs. I also attempted to do a Apple Fitness Plus ab workout, but again, it was just an awkward experience trying to use this device when working out and I would just get a huge headache within five to 10 minutes. Truly the only health and fitness application that I would ever see this working for is actually when using Apple's mindfulness app where you can do an immersive breathing exercise or meditation within the Apple Vision Pro ecosystem. All right, so with all of that said, to the question of who is the Apple Vision Pro for? Well, the first group would be early tech adopters, people who either like to be ahead of the curve when it comes to new innovative technology or being the person who tests out the tech right when it comes out, like me. The second group would be creatives and engineers. For example, creators who wanna get the most out of Apple's ecosystem, like the Freeform app, or love the idea of extending their Mac display when editing videos on Final Cut, as well as engineers and maybe even architects, where the Apple Vision Pro can basically open up opportunities to expand their models and prototypes to a larger than life size right in front of their eyes. 
And then finally, I think it's probably for that group of people who just have extra money lying around to blow on a new piece of tech. They don't even bat an eye at a high price tag. Which brings me to the ultimate question of this video, are these worth the gut-wrenching $3,500? After spending a solid month with the Apple Vision Pro, the one thing I could say for sure, this is not for the everyday consumer. If you don't fit in any of those groups that I just mentioned, then honestly, I don't think this is worth buying. Apple, don't hate me for saying that. It just really can't replace your Mac, your iPad, your iPhone, which I think are staples for people in the Apple ecosystem. It also just needs a lot more refinement in terms of like the size, the software, and the different use cases that you can use this for. And as of today, there are still not enough apps that support the full Vision OS platform. Even Netflix, as well as YouTube, are not even supported yet. Personally, I'd rather just spend my money on a new MacBook computer like the new M3 models. However, I do think that this is going to be the technology of the future. When the Apple Vision Pro version 3 or version 4 comes out, that's when I think it would be a good time to buy. I could see this being the equivalent of everyone having like an Apple Watch or AirPods if they get it a lot smaller and integrate it into our day-to-day -day lives. If anything, I do recommend you at least book an appointment to try it out as it is a fun new user experience that I think everybody should try and it gives you a taste of what's to come in the future. Honestly though, if you have the extra money to spend, I'd rather you just spend it on one of these products here, which are pretty pricey, but I do think that they add some sort of value to your life. As always, stay healthy, be happy, and embrace the hype. Woo!